Hi, welcome to another amazing video from Team Supreme Gamers. If you're looking to upgrade your laptop or PC or build a new one from scratch but having problems with choosing which hardware to upgrade first, or which CPU or GPU you should buy, and will it work on your Phoenix OS or Android x86, then this is the video series for you. In this series of videos, we're going to recommend some of the best low, mid, and high-end budget PC parts and laptops that you can buy if you want to play games on Phoenix OS. This will be an in-depth video guide, so we can't cover this in one video. We'll cover each part of the computer over multiple series of videos. Today we're going to tell you about CPUs and which things you should consider before purchasing the best CPU for your laptop or desktop. If you want to buy an old and used Intel CPU, then I would recommend you to buy an Intel i3 or i5 4th gen CPU. And the reason for this is the Haswell chipset. It is one of the most stable chipsets and works well with all of the OS's. Keep in mind, when you buy a new CPU, you might need to buy a new motherboard as well. So make sure to check your motherboard's manufacturer website for the supported CPU list. If you are a casual gamer who doesn't want to buy new and expensive CPUs and GPUs, then you should buy an Intel i3-10100 CPU or an AMD Ryzen 5 3400G. Both of these CPUs have support for Android x86 with the newer Kernel 5.4 and Mesa 20, and the iGPU in them is more than enough to play any Android x86 game at 60 FPS. The Intel F series and the Ryzen X series don't have an integrated GPU in them, so stay away from CPUs like Intel i5-9400F if you don't have any plans to buy an external GPU. The iGPU in the Ryzen 5 3400G is way better than the Intel i3-10100. The Vega 11 iGPU can also play some modern Windows games at low settings, but the i3-10100 has better single core and multi core performance, which is ideal for programming and compiling Android apps. If you want to buy an all-around CPU for your desktop, then the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 and Intel i5-10600K are the best mid-range CPUs that can handle both gaming and productivity. The Ryzen 5 3600 doesn't have an iGPU, so you'll need to buy an external GPU with it. My recommendation is to buy the 4GB AMD RX 570 or the 8GB RX 580 with it. The Intel iGPU in the i5-10600K is not enough to play modern Windows games, so you'll need to buy an external GPU for your Intel CPU as well. If you want to buy an NVIDIA GPU, like 1650 or 1660 Super, then you'll need to buy an Intel i5-10600K, which has an iGPU because NVIDIA GPUs have poor support over Android x86. There are other Intel CPUs like the i5-10400F or i5-9400F, which sells at a lower price but doesn't have any iGPU inside them, so I don't recommend them because they don't perform any better than Ryzen CPUs. And if you buy an NVIDIA GPU with them, then you can't boot or play games on any Android x86 OS. If you want to buy the best gaming plus productivity CPU for your desktop, then I would recommend you to buy the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X or the Intel Core i7-10700K. Both of these are 8-core 16-thread CPUs, which is more than enough to handle any modern Windows games and productivity software like Adobe Premiere and After Effects. The Intel i7-10700K also ships with an iGPU, but the Ryzen 7 5800X don't, so you'll need to buy an external GPU with it. I recommend that you buy the AMD RX 5600 XT or the 5700 XT with these CPUs. We don't recommend NVIDIA GPUs for Android x86, but if you plan to buy Intel Core i7 10700K, then you can switch to iGPU to run Android x86 OS and buy NVIDIA 3060 or higher GPU model to enjoy Windows games on your PC. 
Keep in mind, you have to switch to iGPU every time you boot into Android x86, which can be time consuming and annoying to some people. As I've said in the previous performance guide video, it can take developers 6 to 12 months to release a stable kernel for your CPU or GPU. So buying the latest and greatest for Android x86 isn't worth it. If you want to buy anything else than the above mentioned CPUs, then you need to check for a few important points, like CPU base clock, number of CPU cores, TDP of the CPU, and iGPU version or model. An ideal CPU is that which has 4 cores and 8 threads, with at least 2.4 to 3.6 GHz base clock and a new but powerful iGPU. Other things like TDP, cache, and memory support may vary from CPU type and models. Now let's talk about the best laptop CPUs for Android x86. The first thing you need to look at when you purchase any new laptop is its CPU model. Laptop mainly has four types of processor series. The Y series, which are extremely low power CPUs. U series, which are power efficient and used by most of the laptops. H series, which are high performance CPUs used in gaming laptops. And lastly, HK or HS series, which are high performance CPUs with unlocked frequency used in high end gaming laptops. If you have an i3 or i5 laptop, chances are you're using a U series CPU, but new Intel U series CPUs can be a bit confusing. Some of the new i3 10th gen CPUs have low base clocks and older iGPU like HD 620, which can perform slower compared to its higher base clock versions. So my suggestion is, if you are on a low budget, then buy an old 8th gen i3 or i5 CPU laptop instead. These have better base clocks and 4 primary CPU cores, but if you want to buy the latest and greatest, then buy the new 3rd or 4th gen Ryzen 3 or 5 laptops instead. Another reason to buy an 8th gen Intel CPU is 8th gen CPUs can run on stock Phoenix OS and Android x86 kernel and Mesa without any weird graphics glitches and bugs. The performance difference on Intel 8th and 10th gen is so low that you won't even feel it while using. If you get an Nvidia GPU on a laptop instead of AMD, then it won't be an issue because Android x86 doesn't recognize a laptop's discrete GPU and you'll be only using the iGPU to play games on it. But in Windows you can use your Nvidia GPU to play games or render video files. Overall, if you just want to play games on Android x86 and you have a low budget for a desktop, then buying a laptop is the best option for you. But if you care about performance and future upgradability, then build a custom desktop instead. In this video, I'm not going to show you which laptop or desktop model you should purchase for your budget, because that is a plan for future videos. But I'm sure now you'll have a solid idea of which CPU features and model you need to look for. So choosing the best laptop or desktop for your budget won't be an issue. That's all for the Android x86 hardware buy guide today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for future episodes. I'm Ghostface, and I'll see you in the next one.